today is my birthday. Hi guys, what's up? It's Natalie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Natalie. I make lifestyle videos, makeup videos, hair videos, and that's my dog, <laughs> and travel videos. But today, it is my birthday, and just like last year, I want to do a get ready with me. Last year, I was 21, and I sat down, and I did a really, really fun makeup look, just kind of getting ready with me. Um, and today, I'm turning 22. It is October 7th, so I thought it'd be really, really fun to just get ready together. So yeah, that is what we are doing. I did this video last year and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, so I hope you guys like these get ready with me's. I know I just posted one. I'm, it's my 22nd birthday. I'm going to post another one. But tonight we are going out to dinner. Me, my mom, my cousin, and my best friend with my sister. And yeah, we're going to this really good Italian restaurant and it is fire. So, yeah, let's just get right. Oh, my dog just farted. Cute. Let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so I'm using a lot of the same. I should probably put like a headband back or something just to like hold my hair. Should I? Yeah, one minute, please. Okay, just got this headband yesterday. Hopefully. Okay, that's a little bit better. I look kind of crazy, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm using this. Infallible L'Oreal 24-hour fresh wear foundation in the color in the color 465. Um, normally I just kind of like scrape it on my face. Probably not the best way of doing it. And if you see me looking over here, I'm looking at my mirror, but I'm gonna try and do it with the camera. I don't use beauty blenders. Isn't that crazy? I know a lot of people actually love beauty blenders like my sister. However, I'm more of a brush girl. When I am using foundation, I don't use foundation every single day. I just, I'm very lucky to have like clear skin so I don't really need it. Um, So that's always cool. And I like this foundation because it's not too heavy or too light. It's like the perfect in between. Plus I really like matte. Matte for me is the best because my skin tends to be very very oily especially in the t-zone i'm not sure why but i'm very lucky enough to not really have any pimples like i'll get a couple but not really so that's always good i'm so excited for tonight um i get the same thing every single time we go to this restaurant also if you haven't noticed i'm back home um at my mom's house just because we're leaving for california we're leaving for California in a couple of days and it would it would have just been a lot easier for me to fly with her instead of flying alone and then meeting up with her. So I drove back yesterday and um, plus I wanted to spend my birthday with my mom. Like I know a lot of people would rather spend it with their friends and technically I am because like my best friend's coming to dinner, but like I'm, I've always been with my mom for my birthday. It would have been so weird if I didn't. And she's only three hours away from me. So this made sense, you know? Now I'm using this pressed powder, the Fit Me Maybelline one. I swear by this just because it's amazing. Yeah, I really, really like that Fit Me. It comes in this like little square and this last. For so long, I've had this exact one for like a couple months now, which I use it almost every day, the days that I do wear makeup. Now I'm going in with my Kylie Toasty Contour Bronzing. I actually dropped this. Can you guys see? I dropped it. Was I sad? Yeah, but I also don't wanna buy another one, you know? It's crazy I'm turning 22. I still feel like I, I like should have my 17th birthday or like my 16th birthday. I don't know if it's just me, but it just doesn't feel like my birthday. It's been a good day so far though. So far I've went shopping with my sister. She wanted to buy me something at the mall. So we went to the mall. Then we went to Target because I needed to pick up dog food for my dog Tank. Cause we're going away and my cousin's watching him. So I just wanted to make sure he had like extra food and stuff. 
So I got him some food and then I got some traveling stuff for me and my mom. But yeah, that's been my day. I worked out this morning. Felt really, really good. I finished all of my homework last night. So it's been a really good day. I have one class, which I think I'm just gonna take the L and just take the L and just not go because I didn't even go. Just because it was my birthday and I was at Target and I was like in the shoe department. I was kind of thinking to myself, I only have one birthday. I have one birthday every year. Might as well do what I want to do on my birthday. And that really didn't include sitting through a math lecture. So if you're getting where I'm coming from, I did not attend. But I'm sure the class was fine without me. Okay, so I basically did my face foundation, and my bronzer, and then I also put on the Kylie um, Pink Dreams blush. I love this makes me feel like summer um, and then I also did my eyebrows with the done in one brow pro made by salon perfect I'm not even gonna lie I don't know where I found that at all but it works pretty good I'm gonna be very lame and basic and not do anything crazy with my eyes I think I want to do like pink with white in the middle like on the inner corner I also have eyelash extensions, if you guys could not tell. So, I can't really do... So, the new salon I go to, I get out these cute little spoolies in pink. Also, guys, look at my nails. You guys see them? They have little sunflowers on them. I think turning 22 years old is making me realize that I'm just getting older and like there's literally nothing i can do about it like when i was little like five i would think 22 i was going to have i was going to have two kids a husband and that is so unrealistic like the thought of me having a son or daughter right now that's crazy i give props to the people my age that actually have settled down and have kids that is insane. Congratulations. Not me though. <laughs> Next thing I'm going into is my nude Huda Beauty um, palette. All my favorite little colors. But yeah, I give credit to anyone who actually has a kid right now that's my age. Impressive. I'm going into the color uh, play right here. It's like a light pinky coral color. It's definitely my favorite in the palette and I'm just putting that all over the lid and the same with the other eye but I just realized that 22 I'm not old like obviously I'm old but not like wise and old do you know what I mean so yeah I basically realized I'm not 16 anymore oh I just used me man I used the wrong brush I'm talking too much I'm like getting out of focus Anyways, what I was saying was, I'm getting older, I'm not a teenager anymore, obviously, and I think me getting a job was kind of like the first real thing that hit me that was like, wow, I'm actually an adult and I should start acting like one. I mean, I act like one, don't get me wrong, but... I think I call my mom for like a lot of stuff. I'm very, very lucky to have her, but you know, I see like YouTubers and they have houses to themselves that they either have with like their boyfriends or like whatever. And it's just so crazy to me. Like they're buying real estate and like living their best lives and like going on trips alone without their like mom. And that's, that's like normal. That's so normal but for me i've always had my mom and like my dad to fall back on so like yeah, i did have like a dad that was very supportive and like wanted to travel and stuff and i'm lucky i have a mom now that does want to do that with me but i think like 22 i want to start doing stuff alone like i definitely want to go to canada by myself to see brooke my best friend I definitely want to go to California and just go to LA and kind of like, I don't know, I think it'd be really cool to move there, but I don't think I want to do it this year. 
I do eventually in my life want to move like that way. Um, I don't know if I want to stay in Florida for the rest of my life. I'm kind of just like putting it in the universe if like the opportunity did come for me i think that'd be really really fun to do and explore but okay back to this video sorry i'm getting off topic for my hair i'm not doing anything really crazy i tried blow drying it out i've never ever done that and i just used my mom's like spin brush i kind of want to, like the bottoms to curl in like i don't know if you guys can see that but like that that'd be kind of cute right I don't know my hair is just not it like what is this um but yeah so i'm going to why am i like fidgeting so much i'm fidgeting so much in this video uh let me see what time it is i'm back i just got my test results back for my oral exam for italian my dog is drinking water i the whole entire test was oral i had to speak italian fully my okay so if you guys are new here my mom's italian her dad was born in italy lived in a cave when there was like a war and stuff so she's like fully italian her mom's italian too and my dad was like a mutt so learning italian be so all my life i was just very like italian surrounded by my cousins like Sundays are for like family and for making sauce like we are Italian Italian Italian, but I've like never taken the language seriously. Wow. He's drinking so much I So wait, so I've taken the language for in high school for three or four years and my teacher was so chill, didn't really teach us anything. He was just like the best professor. Um, but anyways, I had to take it in college, which is right now for my major, I'm communications and multimedia. So for uh, communications, you have to have like a language. So I was like, ooh, I'll do Italian and hopefully I learn something. Also, I'm planning on going to Italy when I graduate for like a trip. I think that'd be really, really fun and plus we have we have family members in Italy, so to be able to communicate with them by myself would be really cool. So anyways, I've taken on this class with the right mindset, and I've been actually studying Italian and actually trying my hardest to understand the language. I'm taking it seriously. Well, I had an oral exam, and they just posted the... And guess what I got? The whole entire test was Italian. I got an 80, I got a 92. She's Italiano, like. And then I also realized one of the questions was, what would you get at an Italian bar? And bar in Italian is really in a cafe. So I missed, I totally missed this question. I was like, I would get I basically said what was in my backpack, which was a pen, a red pen, and um, a book. But he was like, no, that's not what I asked you. I basically asked you what you would order. I was like, oh, okay. And then the girl who was also taking the exam with me, because there was like two people, she was like, I would get like a macchiato, and she like ordered. And then he was like, yeah, in Italy, a macchiato is like dirty water slash milk. I thought it was really funny. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Also, I'm going to forgot to show you guys what lip gloss I'm wearing. I'm doing the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. I'm pretty sure it's Gigi Hadid's line with Maybelline. I could be totally wrong, but yeah, it's like a pinky like gloss because I don't really like wearing lipstick at all. So gloss is like they do it for me you know what i mean boom boom i'm wearing a black dress with my red bottom shoes definitely go check out my instagram i'm gonna put some pictures slash videos right here of the night and yeah thank you guys so much for getting ready with me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys